hey guys it's me Talha. in today's video i will be showing you how to create this cool treehouse concept design in revit you will learn some tips and tricks for creating curved curtain walls and mullions in revit now before we get started i would like to suggest to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses and if you find this video helpful consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as usual first i'm going to create some new levels so let's select this one and first i will just make it four feet and let's select this one and press cs on the keyboard and i'm going to create four new levels perfect now let's go back to level one and as you guys know it's not easy to create curved curtain walls in revit so we will use a simple trick to create them we will be using a thin generic wall and just applying a glass material to it and if you are wondering how we can add mullions to them well i will show you how to easily do that as well so first uh, let's select wall from here and then edit type duplicate i'm going to call it two inch curtain wall let's click ok let's click edit and here i will put two inches as well and here is a quick tip about the materials so by default we uh, we get this glass material in our revit projects so i'm just going to type the name here instead of opening the material editor and selecting the material anyway let's click ok okay again and i'm just going to create a circle here let's create a 15 feet circle like so now let's go to 3d and if i change the visual style to a shaded you see we got this curved curtain wall here now i'm just going to select the uh, just select this and change the base constraint to level 2 and top constraint should be the last one level 6 there we go now let's create the floors so i'm just going to go back to level 2 and select floor from here and then use pick lines and just pick the edges of this wall like so let's click finish uh, we can just copy this floor to the other levels so let's select this floor click here copy to clipboard and just paste align to selected levels and we want to copy this to uh, level 3 4 and 5 then click ok and let's create the roof here so let's go back to level 6 as you can see the curtain walls are not showing up here so let's change the underlay to level 5 now we can see our walls here let's select roof then use pick lines again and i'm just going to pick the edges of this wall now we want to remove the slopes so let's select all of this and just uncheck this defined slope there we go let's click finish and we just want to change uh, this roof type just select that click this drop down and select sloped glazing there we go so we got our glass roof as well now i think we can just quickly add a door here and then we want to edit uh, this floor to add the stairs here so i already have downloaded a, a glass door family i will just load it into the project let's add this glass door here and then i'm just going to select this floor and then click edit boundary let's go to the top view here i think it's on level two now i'm just going to select the pick lines and give a three feet offset and just pick this curve and let's select this line and i'm just going to create one here and another one here like so now let's use split sl split this and then use tr and trim these lines trim here as well and then 
these two corners as well now let's click finish and you see we got something like this we can now create steps here so let's do that just go back to level one again and i'm going to select stair and let's use this spiral one and just make sure the width is three feet and now we want to snap the center point of this circle so for that we need to press sc on the keyboard and then just hover over this arc you can see the center point is now highlighted you just need to click and we will get these stairs so let's change the location line to left and i'm just going to create steps here like so now uh, you see it's created like this so we need to flip these steps let's go back to level one and first we need to click finish and then if i select the stairs we get this little arrow we can just click it to flip the stairs it's looking uh, something like this now to continue this railing here we can just select the railing and then click edit path go to level one i'm just going to continue this path from here okay let's use uh, this arc and create an arc like this and then we can create a line here like so let's click finish again and there we go we got our steps here now i'm going to create the stairs on other levels as well so let's go back to level two and we want to create a stair uh, on this curve so let's select stair then spiral just make sure width is three feet and again we need to snap the center uh, of this arc so let's press sc let's select this arc click and this time we want to change the location line to right and we'll create stairs from here like so looking pretty good now we will leave a small gap here to access this level and then we'll create another stair following this curve so for this one we can go to level three and here we can see our stairs let's first click finish and i want to create a new one so as you can see we have these stairs showing up here it's not that clear because uh, we need to create an opening on this floor so we'll do that later on first let's create the stairs let's select this one and then press sc just hover over this arc to snap the center point and let's create new stairs from here like so again i will repeat the same process on the other levels as well and i will speed up this part So as you can see, we got this cool looking stairs here following this curve. Now, once it's done, we can create the openings. I think before creating the openings, I just want to uh, add the columns. So let's go back to level two. And let's select architectural column from this drop down. And I think there is no round column loaded here. So I just want to load one just click load family let's go to columns and here we have this round column let's open this up and i'm just going to uh, create a duplicate of this an 18 inch column click ok and just put 18 inches here and we can just click ok and place columns here so i'm just going to add one here and we can just mirror it from the middle dm and let's select both of these and press dm again and we will mirror it from this uh, from the middle here so right now it's looking something like this we can right click on this column select all instances visible in view and we'll first change the base level to level one and the top level should be level six there we go now 
uh, we can create the openings so i'm just going to go back to level two and we are going to use uh, this shaft uh, from this openings panel here just click on it first i'm going to create an opening in the center so let's select circle and press sc again and then hover over this edge and let's create a five feet opening in the center and click finish and i'm just going to go to 3d and you can see it's still selected you can just drag this uh, using this handle and just drag it through this uh, floor there we go got this opening in the center here for the tree and let's uh, create the openings for the stairs using the same method let's go back to level two select shaft and i'm just going to use pick lines and pick the edges of these stairs and then use stream tr and just uh, just join these corners and click finish there we go and you see you got the opening here but i think uh, we need to change the base offset of this shaft if i hover over here you can see the opening cut is now highlighted just click on it and just make the base offset zero there we go now i will just quickly repeat this uh, same process on the other floors as well and create the opening for the stairs now we are at the final part of this video which is about creating the mullions so the trick which i was talking about earlier is that we are going to use wall sweep to create the mullions yes you heard it right we are going to use wall sweep to create the mullions on this glass wall that was created using a generic wall so let's do that first i'm going to create new profile for the mullions let's go to file new family and here i'm going to go to the english imperial folder and let's select this profile template open this up and let's create a profile I have created this basic profile for the mullions. The glass is going to be placed on this side. So if you remember the thickness of the glass wall that we created earlier was two inches. So I just leave the same gap here. Now let's save this profile. I'm going to call it mullion. Let's click save and load this into our project let's go to 3d because we cannot place uh, the sweeps in 2d view and click this drop down select wall sweep and let's click edit type duplicate let's call it mullion click ok and select the profile that we just created here we have it let's click ok and if i hover over here you can see the sweep so first we want to create vertical ones so let's select vertical from here and i'm just going to add one maybe here so let's add one here on this wall hit escape and as soon as i hit the escape we get this warning that could not create wall sweep just ignore this warning click ok there we go we got this mullion here and as i said the glass is perfectly placed in the center here now i will just quickly create some more of this on this wall uh, restart wall sweep 
and just ignore this warning again and add a new one here and let's click here again and just ignore that warning and this time we'll and we'll create another one here let's go to level 2 here i will i will just drag this mullion and now we can select three of these and just mirror them from the center dm click ok there we go let's create the horizontal mullions so i'm just going to select wall sweep again and we will add one here select horizontal and we'll add one here and click restart sweep and add another one here now let's press escape and and select this mullion to continue this instead of creating a new one we can uh, simply click here add or remove walls in this case we want to add so let's click on the same button and select uh, this wall there we go you see it's added on the side as well now let's select this one again and click add walls and select this wall now i'm just going to the front view and let's move it down a little bit just try to align it with the floor now we can select both of these and just copy them to the other floors here like so okay i think we should just move them a little bit up just to align uh, to this floor now on the top we can select this one copy and just paste here at the top there we go so that's how to create this cool looking tree house concept design in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses and if you found this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video